couple more breaths here. And then we're gonna just exhale, bend the knees, lower the feet to the ground. And then we're going to do that psoas stretch. So we're gonna exhale, draw the right knee in towards the chest, extend the left leg out. So the left heels on the mat. And we'll do that psoas release. So exhale, pull the right thigh down towards the ground, feel your left heel float off the mat. Exhale, release the pole, left heel comes to the ground. Let's do that two more times. Exhale, pull, left heel floats up and release the pole, left heel comes down. One more time, exhale, pull and release. Let's extend the right leg out to meet the left. Breathe in, breathe out. Walk your feet back towards your hips and then draw your left knee in towards your chest. Extend your right leg out, right heels on the ground. Feel that psoas stretch on the right. And we'll do three on this side. Exhale, pull your left thigh down to the ground, right heel floats up. Exhale, release the pull, right heel comes down. We do two more. Exhale, pull and release. One more time, exhale, pull, right heel floats up and release. And then extend your left leg out to meet your right. Now, if it feels good on your shoulders, inhale, reach your arms overhead. Feel as much of the back of your arms on the ground. So if you need to take your arms out wider like an X position, please do that. And then we're gonna slowly lower the arms down by your side. Exhale, walk your feet back towards your hips. Feel the four corners of the feet on the mat. Lift your pelvis up, slide that block out and massage your back back down to the ground. As you do, you could do that spinal rock, pressing in and out from your feet so you feel your back body gently rock against the ground. Okay, then from here, we're gonna just do a Garudasana twist before we come up. Let's cross our right leg over the left. Left hand to right knee, breathe in and exhale, drop your knees over to the left. And that right hip stacking on top of the left and feel for gravity moving through the upper body, moving through the shoulder blades. Relaxing the shoulder blades into the ground. And then we're gonna inhale, bring the legs back to center and exhale, uncross that right leg. Second side, we're gonna cross the left leg over the right. Right hand to left knee, breathe in. And exhale, bring the knees over to the right. Spinal twist. Feel for that gravity moving through the body. Relaxing the shoulder blades into the ground. A couple more breaths here. And then slowly roll back onto your back. Let's uncross that left leg. Okay, let's exhale, draw our knees into our chest, gently rocking from side to side, massaging out the back. Either fetal position, or if you feel up for rolling like a ball, rocking forward and back, forward and back, come up to seated. We're gonna cross those ankles and come to our tabletop position. And maybe you have a block on each side of your mat, just so you have one available. All right, so we're gonna come to that tabletop position. Let's move through our spine, four sets of cow and cat. Hips back, heart forward, inhaling. Exhale, lift the spine, rounding. Again, hips back, heart forward, inhale. Exhale, lift the spine, rounding. And just moving a little more from that space of the spine that feels the tightest. After your fourth set, let's wide our head and tail from side to side, either keeping focus to the ground 
or looking over one shoulder and then the other. And letting that rocking come back to neutral. Let's do that flowing pigeon next. So let's send our right leg back. You can keep the right toes on the ground. Cross your right foot over to the left side of the mat. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Look over your left shoulder. Stay here or inhale. Exhale, slide your right leg back. Bow your nose to your left knee. Releasing the forehead and the neck down. We'll look forward. Inhale, come back to your tabletop. Let's cow spine, cat spine again. Inhale, exhale, round knee. Tabletop, slide your left leg back and left toes stay on the ground to cross over to the right. Look over your right shoulder. Squeeze those inner thighs together. And then at, stay there or exhale, slide your left leg back. Bow your nose to your knee. Maybe your forehead comes all the way to the ground. Maybe you've seen the neck. All right, let's look forward, inhale, come forward to that tabletop position. Cow and cat spine again, hips back, heart forward, inhale. Exhale, lift the spine, rounding. And then we're gonna just do some flying dogs here. So sending your right leg back, right toes are pointed down. Let's exhale, bring our right knee to our right elbow. Inhale, send your right leg back. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Inhale, send it back. Let's do one more each direction. Exhale, bend. Inhale, extend. And cross, exhale, bend. Inhale, extend. Let's step our right foot to our right thumb. Inhale, lift our spine up. Breathe in, reaching to the sky. Then let's flex the wrist. Exhale, palms forward. Hands to the ground. And walk your right foot to the outer edge of the mat. You could stay here, dropping those hips down, or <clears throat> lift up your left knee and scoot it back and knee print. Maybe feel those hips get even more of a stretch. Stay here on the inhale and maybe exhale or lower down to your forearms, going into that lizard prep. But if you feel your right elbow coming off the ground, walk your right foot out a little further, or don't go down as far and maybe bring those blocks in under hands or elbows. If you feel up for it, tuck the left toes and lift up the left knee, coming into a more of a balance. And then you can move that head from side to side and maybe look over each shoulder to get more of that S spine. When you're even, if you're moving side to side, Come back to neutral, lower the left knee down if you lifted it, slide your right leg back, set the blocks to the side if you use them, reach your right leg all the way back, extend it again, and then let's bend our right knee, walk our left fingertips out in front of us, and then maybe reach the right hand, left hand back to catch the right foot, quad stretch, feel cow spine, hips back, heart forward, then let's extend the right leg back, left arm forward, come to your tabletop. This tabletop round cat spine, and you might press through the tops of the feet and gently lift the knees off the ground an inch or two. Before we go to the second side, inhale, look forward. Left leg goes back, left toes point down. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Inhale, send it back. Let's do one more each side. Exhale, bend. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Inhale, extend. Exhale, draw your left knee in. Step forward. Inhale, lift your spine up. Reach your arms up to the sky. Then flex your wrists. Press your palms forward. Fold forward, hands to the ground. And heel toe that left foot to the outer edge of the mat. Stay where you are or tuck the right toes and scoot that right knee back and knee print, dropping those hips down. Inhale to stay and exhale or lower down onto your forearms, that lizard prep. Again, you might bring those blocks underneath your hands. That feels better. More of a balance. Tuck your right toes. Lift your right knee up. 
press your right hamstring to the ceiling. Just feel with each exhale, how can those hips come closer to the ground? When you're ready, let's exhale, lower the right knee down, slide the left foot back, tabletop position again, set the blocks to the side, let's exhale, round cat spine. See the belly button, see the knees, press the tops of the feet, lift the knees up an inch or two, and then gently set them down, look forward. We're gonna walk our hands forward, a hand print each, come forward towards the hands and lower with control onto the belly. We're gonna do some trees here on the ground. So we're gonna send our right arm forward, roll to the right side of the mat. And then let's bring our left foot to our right inner thigh, squeezing about five or 10% of your effort right inner thigh and left foot together. Then for more balance, you might bring your left knee to your left shoulder. You could extend your left leg to the sky. If you're up for it, try to touch your left toes or left calf or hamstring. And then with control, bring your left foot back down to the right inner thigh. Left palm can come to the mat. We're gonna stay in tree leg as we roll onto our belly. Bring your hands outside your chest. Wrap the shoulder blades in, lift the heart, breathe in. And then exhale, let's come back down, send your left arm forward, roll to the left side. We're gonna do tree on the second side. So right foot to the left inner thigh. From here, squeezing the left inner thigh and right foot together. You could go into that extension, reaching the right leg up. Test the balance, right hand can touch right toes, calf or hamstring. And then we're going to bend the right knee, bring the right foot to the ground or to the earth, excuse me, to the thigh, roll onto your belly, find that tree pose. And then we're gonna inhale, roll the shoulders back, lift the heart, breathe in. Exhale, lower down, forehead to the mat, breathing out. Let's send our right leg back, press through the arms straight, come back to your child's pose, keeping those knees together or widening them and let your forehead come all the way down to the ground. And then we're gonna flow through some twos, warrior twos here next. So take your time reaching those arms out, shift into your hands, let's come to our first down dog, so tucking the toes, lifting the knees, stretching the legs, looking between the big toes or up towards the belly button. And then when you're ready, let's inhale, lift the right leg towards the sky, three-legged stretch. Exhale, bring your right knee to your nose. Look forward and step your right foot between your thumb. From here, spin your left heel down. Find that warrior two. Stretching the arms straight. Good. Okay, now from here, let's just do that shift from forward to back, forward to back. So into the front leg and then into the back leg. Do you feel the front side of your mat and the back side? It could be from your rib cage, it could be from your shoulders, maybe reaching from the inside of your ears. And then from here, come back to neutral. Let's bring our hands together in front of our heart. Straighten your right leg, spin your right toes in, spin your left toes out. Warrior two, second side, and then Feel, again, check out that left knee. Is it over the left ankle? Once you see that, start to go for that side to side in the shoulders, the hips, maybe even the inner ear. Good. And then from here, we come back to center, hands together in front of the heart, straighten your left leg, spin all 10 toes in. Let's do our first presserita A. Walk those heels to the back edge of the mat, breathe in. Lift your heart towards your hands, breathe out, fold forward, bring your hands to the ground. 
And if you're ready to drop the head all the way down, walk your hands in line with your feet. Lean the head, touch the earth, or you might even look to side to side just to see your 10 toes pointing forward. Good, and let's just do a knee bend. Bend one knee, keep one leg straight. Inhale back to center. And again, this could be with the head touching the ground or lifted, whatever feels best. And the head might even intuitively want to gently look from side to side. So continuing to release the neck. Might even feel if your head's on the ground like you're massaging the top of your head. Okay, let's inhale, lift the spine, come on up. Bring your hands to your hips. And then let's go to warrior two, spin your right heel in, right toes out. And then let's lead with the right hand, left hand follows. Come back to your down dog. Okay, and then from here, let's walk our hands to the left side of the mat. So we're gonna walk our down dog around to the other side of the mat. <laughs> so now your hands are pointing towards what was the back side of your mat. And we're gonna go to the second side. So let's inhale, lift the left leg up, breathe in. Exhale, draw your left feet to your nose, look forward, step forward, and lift your spine to your warrior two again. Here we'll do some side angle stretches. So bring your left forearm to your thigh and start to reach down to the ground. Right arm can go straight up from the shoulder or drop behind the back. Now let's just bend and straighten that left leg three times. So we're gonna inhale, straighten the left leg. You'll feel that IT band stretch on the right and then exhale, bend into the left knee. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. One more time, inhale, extend. Really releasing that left inner ear to the ground. Exhale, bend. Come back up to your warrior two, lift the spine, inhale. This transition, let's keep that left knee bent. Spin your right heel in, hands meet at the heart. Spin your left heel out, arms open from the heart. Side angle stretch, let's bring our right forearm to the thigh or reach down to the ground. Left arm straight up out from the shoulder if that feels good and let's bend and straighten that right knee. Feel how those hips can stack even more. Lift up on top of right as you inhale. Straighten, exhale, bend for two. And that left IT band stretch or left hip stretch. Bend and straighten, one. Exhale, bend into that warrior two. Let's lift up the spine, inhale. Let the hands kind of, you can dive them down if that feels good as you spin your left heel in, left toes out, and then spin your right heel out. Warrior two, let's lead with the left hand. Right hand follows. We just step back to that down dog. See your feet and then let's walk our hands to the right and our feet to the left. So we're gonna just spin our down dog again, going to the other side of your mat. Okay, let's do one up dog from here. So from here, we're going to slide our hips to our wrists. You could start with some high planks first if you'd like, reaching to the top of the head, looking forward. Exhale, pressing your hips back to your down dog. And we're almost letting this feel a little snake-like movement for the spine. Hips to the wrists if you want to unpack the toes and then recurl the toes as you exhale. Come back down, dog. Let's try a few more of those. Inhale. Good. And then exhale. Nice. Maybe one more. And then when you come back to your down dog, let's come back to a child's pose. So lower your knees to the mat. Inner thighs could be touching or slightly apart. Let's reach back to cup those heels with your hands, letting the forehead rest down. Exhale into the earth. Letting it 